bill has continued to dish out warnings to the appropriate body and the government at large. The federal government, led by Bola Tinimbu, as announced by Independent National Electoral Commission, has continued to dish out appointments, has continued to make out policies. One of the policies that P2B has also encouraged and applauded Bola Tinimbu to of taking is the subsidy remover. But you only stated that everything up to have been kept in place before removing removal of the subsidy. As a matter of fact, subsidy has got so much amount of money. A lot of persons don't even know the figure of subsidy that the federal government has often paid for subsidy. As at 2023, on Gen in January, government paid 274 777 billion naira on subsidy. February 477.74 billion naira. March 415.38 billion naira. April 353.13 billion naira. And in May 307.41 billion naira. In total 1.882 trillion. This is gulfed money government has all often paid. And when Bola Metinibu assumed office, he said subsidy is going to be removed. But P2B is stating that before the removal of the subsidy, things are supposed to be kept in place in order not to bring the suffering to the masses. This has now given him the enablement to dish out warning to Bola Metinibu's led government, Samuel led government in Lagos, and other governors who are at the point in time bringing down properties and figures. He gave them warning with facts and figures. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in 2023 general election, Bim P2B, has called on the state governments of Kanu State and Lagos State and other parastatas that have carried out demolition of properties belonging to Nigerians to pay them adequate compensation. You know, it recall that Governor Saunwulu, who is also in court, has carried out demolitions it has been alleged that those demolitions, the areas where he made those demolitions, are where Igbos are residing. It has been also alleged that some of the properties and the persons whom their houses were demolished have not been compensated. But at this point in time, P2B being their solicitor, P2B being a man who believes in the unity and progress of the country, has dished out one into the government that whatever demolition they are making, they should make sure they compensate those persons whom are the owners of those properties because it is very hard and not fair not to have compensated them they said Igbos are residing in lagos and p2b is being a southeastern man has cautioned the government p2b made the appeal in a statement he personally signed said such compensation would ablimorate and unimaginable suffering those nigerians we have faced through that moment it has been also been alleged that the kanu state governor had also demolished some prominent properties in Sabongari, where Igbos are also residing. It has alleged, it has been alleged also that you know this is like a way of making sure that Igbos leave the country. But P2B has strengthened everyone that the government should make sure they lace compensation for the, that reason. P2B gave his instinct. A lot of persons have continued to react over P2B sworn into government and Bola Metinubu led administration and even Sangolu and the rest of them. Stating if, why is it that he's always interfering? He has always preferred solution and he has given them that warning. One of the reasons why he made that warning was he stated that the government lacked logic at this point in time when Nigeria is faced with 70 million housing deficit and has fast unmet housing needs nationwide that that Going, going, going about demolition houses and properties are not what the country needs at this point in time because Nigeria is faced with 70 million housing deficit. That is to tell you that technologically, practically, P2B has ascertained the fact and the reason why this government ought not to raise down houses. Well, it is now obvious you have seen the warning as exact or how P2B has dished it out to the appropriate bodies. Do you feel this is ideal or should P2B continue to Involve himself in a nation, nation, national nation building. What is your reaction towards the advice in advice him in the comment section and also advise him appropriately on his court case with Timbola Metinimbu? Don't forget to share this video, like this video, and do well to always hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when I drop more trending videos.